Good night, guys. How's it going? Today, guys, we're not going trucking, guys. We are going to double pull truck. Don't worry, we're not getting rid of the Scania permanently. Well, going to see a bit of a change, guys. Just a temporary one. So, we're going to change our trucks, man. It's happening, it's happening. But we're not going to buy a truck, we're just going to transfer the truck over. Fitting them all up with garage, yeah. Alright, so it's going to draw the manager. Let's go down to this one. Wanna find out which one of these isn't working? Just for some reason these drivers aren't picking up any work. I don't understand what's going on here. The same with the Glasgow one. So what I mean, I'm gonna go three of the drivers working. I don't know what's going on. How long do you want to be on rest for? Do you know what I mean? It's weird, it's a bit strange. Okay. I want to try. That's it. Oh, I want to travel to there. I want to travel over to Germany, guys, to start off with. And then we're going to pick up our truck that we're going to transform, guys. Oh, yeah, weather's not too good over here. Before we do that, is this truck? Fully functional. Okay, so we drive this. It's got a nice truck with no damage on it. Um, truck manager next. So we're going to swap trucks over, guys. Now we're back in Birmingham. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Don't know why that is. But... <clears throat> so here we are, guys. Going to transform this. That makes it 105. As you can see, guys, it's a right fucking sack of shit, any, you know what I mean? To be honest, it doesn't look too good, does he? Right, so, we can't be having that, can we? What a nice, sexy looking back truck, don't we? Of course we do, of course that's what we all want. So, let's go and make that happen, guys. Because I always think that's what's best for business. Okay. Oh god, this thing looks horrible. <laughs> it really does look horrible. I can't believe this thing's done 67,000 kilometres already. Bloody hell. So it would be nice when it just, I mean, we've got all these other trucks in our garbage, so let's like. 
why don't we use them? You know what I mean? Let's pick up a different truck, let's do it up. And we haven't got to pay for the truck, you know what I mean? So we're saving that money. So why not just go pick one up? It's different. We'll do that up. And then we'll go from there, really. Modify it, pick it up. It's a bit different, isn't it? Right. right, so here we are, guys. At the service centre now. Let's see what we can do for our mate here. Our good old dad. Right, uh, so at least it if it does need any work doing, which it doesn't, so that's good. That's a step in the right direction. Don't need repairing. Probably it's already been all repaired. So, current night, bog standard, guys. It's the standard 4x2 chassis. Chassis, it's right hand drive. It's the space cabin. Bridge and six to break. 1.775 newton meters of torque, that is terrible. Um, I suppose the send the gearbox and it's got a thousand litre tank, fuel tank. So let's transform this fucking, okay. let's transform this bad boy. All right, so that the cabins first. So uh, this is the standard space cabin. We've got super cab plus. Uh, basically, the difference is just a wind deflector. Or we've got the super space, which is this extra thing here at the front, I think. Yeah, so this bit's a big batter, and it's got the roof part as well. So that's going to cost us 54 grand if we have that done. Right, let's have a look. And we lose the aerial, I think. Oh, no, we don't. It just goes onto the roof. Okay. Well, let's just go all out. Let's just go for it. I'll clear all this water. I don't know what all this stuff is on here. All right. Okay. It's costing us 54 grand for that. Chassis. All right. Let's go all the way down. Six by four that will give us pretty much top of the bay the heavy maneuverability is took a fucking hit. <laughs> That's better. Give you a better view. Well we could go six by four mid lift. And we could sacrifice heavy cargo. Right. Chassis 4x2 extra. No, we don't want that. That's the most expensive one, the 6x4. Or if we go for the 6x2 slash 4 mid lift. So basically, one of these rear axles there. This one will lift up when we want it and go down when we want it. But then, do we lose any of the. Uh... Yeah, I think we're going to sacrifice then a smaller fuel tank as well. Uh, decisions to make here, yeah, guys. We've got decisions to make. Tag lift.
So mid lift is the front axle will lift up. Tag lift is the back axle here will lift up. And the 6x4 assume means that nothing will lift up and it just stays like that as it is. Let's have a look at the analysis. Our 6x4, 6x4 chassis will give us heavier cargo ability. As we go onto uneven roads, so like quarries and things like that. We'll have better traction on that. And the maneuverability is going to be a bit crapper compared to the mid lift, where we get really good maneuverability. And then heavy cargo takes a massive bashing, so it doesn't matter really. The same again, if we go for the tag lift. Awesome maneuverability, good for normal cargo, crap for uneven terrain. But by the look of it, we never yeah, really. It's never going to be a heavy cargo type of truck, is it? So I reckon we'll go for the tag lift on that. Okay, we'll go for standard engines first and we'll have a look at them. So we've got this engine here, this is standard 361. This will give us 2000 newton meters of torque and 410 brake horsepower. And not much improvement. Got the 460. Now the normal car goes tech in a bashing. Uh, that's better for heavy cargo. Or we could just go for a bloody Cummings engineer. Let's go all right, boys. Let's go for the Cummins, I think. If we do that, it's going to become a heavy cargo truck, and I don't really. Alright, let's leave that for a turn for it, really. Alright, let's have a look at transmissions. <clears throat> We're going to want to go for a 16 speed. Oh, let's go back onto engines now. I don't want this to be a heavy cargo truck because it's never going to be that. It's not a Scania, it's not anything else, do you know what I mean? Okay, we'll just leave it as normal cargo. We'll have the Cummins engine pull. Okay, so let's, let's go for the 510. That does. That makes no changes, does it? So it doesn't matter really. Unless we have the standard engine, you know what I mean? Or what do you class as normal cargo, you know what I mean? With that, we'll pull anything. We'll pull normal cargo with that and everything else. So. <clears throat> I think we'll go for this engine. We'll have the Cummins engine. Okay, we've done transmission. Uh, we'll do paint job next. Let's go through this. And more green. Ugh. Well, no, don't like that. 
or metal blue. How is that blue? That's like grey. That is, isn't it? That isn't a blue. Red. Oh, that white. The white does look good. I like the white. Yeah, no. We got the custom colour. Uh, metallic colour. Heavy duty. So it's not going to be a heavy duty truck. Don't like that. There's no point having that because it's not going to be heavy duty. I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't like that. These are really crap, man, for paint jobs, isn't they? For paint movies, man. Oh, there we go. Super Space Cat. Staff XX Limited Edition. Could have that. Or we could have this livery, the Daff XF 105. That's what this truck is. And we have Dancing in Paris. And again, heavy duty trucks. No point. Tempted to put that F the this livery. Well, it annoys me. You can only have it as one colour, and that is going to annoy me. I'd like to have it as more than that. Oh, we've got a brass can, yeah. Do you know what I mean? A kind of custom colour on it. Oh, for that reason, I'm going to scrap that idea and we're going to go for the custom metallic colour and then I'm going to go with the same colour as the Scania. That is pretty nice, I like it. Okay, so we'll stick with that, guys, I think. That's the paint job done. Alright, let's accessorise now the exterior. So I'm going to start at the back and we're going to work our way around. We have mud flaps, that fire oven, or the that special. We've got the DAF special, haven't we? The DAF. Okay, it's got stock lights. We've got a century in. Um, four. Or oh, whatever this is, I can't even pronounce that. I think I'm going to go for that because I like it. Accessory slots. Uh, why have we only got accessories? Oh, we haven't. They're on both sides. Okay. So we've done all of that there, and then it's only put the one light on there. Oh, we'll just go for the strobe ones.
Say again, now there's only two of them on there. This is weird, this is. Okay, right, cool. Now we'll do this side. Now you'd think I'd put that on automatically, wouldn't you? Okay, right. Tires next. Uh, start with rims. Nuts, we wanted chrome nuts. Uh, the hub, I wanted to paint. Can't do that then. I don't want the hook covers, I don't like them. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Not even an IB car on there. Oh, fuck that rider. Well, have the elite rider, I think. Okay, nuts, tyres. Right, that's the tyres done guys, and we'll do these. <coughs> paint plus, what's paint plus? Don't know what it is, but we'll take it. Uh, side skirts. Oh, I'm not going to want crowned in a way. So uh, we'll just stick with these.
Got some more lights on it, guys, all around here. Money's not a problem, so. Okay, it's starting to look a bit nicer already, isn't it? On like turn fives. Must have made it starting to look a lot nicer now. Okay, I set that. Chassis cover, so we've got stock, Cintrian, Diva, or four. I like the painted one, so we'll go for Diva there. Exhaust, we've got Gibbous, or second one for me. That find open. It's got to be that one, any. Okay, so that's done. That's done. Uh, a light board. Let's go for the standard that one. Window trim. That's special, I like that. Alright, main mirrors, paint, actually what does chrome, no, don't suit it, paint it is, uh, da -da -da -da. right, let's go to the top of the roof guys, start up here, beacon, why the hell not? Uh, that one. I'd say that one looks nice. All right, now before we put horns on, Right, we'll have this roof on here because we can still have lights on and it's still compatible. We can have big horns on the top. So, now here, so we've got to be careful. Don't want to go too mad with the little lights. Let's have these lights. I don't like the big round ones. Is it going to be too much if we do? See what I'm saying? If we go. Uh, I don't know if that looks stupid now, whether that's too much. Does that make any sense? Oh well. I said we was going to do it up, that's what we're doing. Uh, stock.
There'll be a lot of lights in it. <laughs> okay, there's a look after this side for a minute. Open the front fender, door handles, paint or chrome, door trim. So look at the door trim first. We'll go for that special because we already have that. We'll go for paint. But that special. Done that. Steps. That weren't done. Ninja steps. Why not? I have ninja steps. Right. Yeah, that's done on both sides. So, yeah, man, this is starting to look pretty cool with Shield Center. Oh yeah, we can have different things in the middle, can't we? Oh, here's a DAF XF, so we'll have that in the window. Um. Super dip. I'm putting this as my done up truck number two. Right. Actually, no, wooden base. We've got the RV code. We've got the. Oh, sorry, you know, I'm just calling it number two. Technically not. Hang on a minute. This should be on that side. Ah. Oh, where's all my lights in that garden, eh? Oh, you having a laugh? Uh, let's do that. All right, start again now. Ah, oh, so we've just done all that work on the top of that cab for nothing. Oh, because I pressed that button, so the cab was on the wrong side. Okay, all right, let's start again then. We know what we had anyway, so. I do think we went overboard with the lights so man, so I don't know if to have something different. Oh bad if we go ah uh, uh, and uh Then we'll go with these ones. Ah, that don't work, does he? <laughs> oh, 
That's better. That works. Well, my butt. Oh, what the fuck? I don't want you. I wanted that one. That's better. Right. Yeah, that looks better. Alright, sun visor. Light board. Decided on that. Sun visor. I don't know whether to go for one or not. That ultimate. What the hell do we put here? Oh my god. It's more lights, guys. It's lights everywhere. I'll tell you what, this is going to be a little like a bloody Christmas tree. Okay, done. Windshield centre. Well, we can chose that one, didn't we? That's been done. Stone guard. Mm, no, nah, not going to have one of them. Windshield frame, paint, uh, front badge, staff, paint, every time, front mask, paint, Badge. No, it needs to be different. Oh, it's just going to be too much light if we do that. No, it's going to be too much. I can't put lights all on the front as well. We've got them everywhere. Do you know what? I don't like. That beam blue. For some reason, it doesn't look nice all in blue. <coughs>
<laughs> okay then, I think it's done guys. Door trim, door handles done. Done all around the back up. Oh no, we haven't. We went for the iron over in there, didn't we? Chasse Cupa. It's Diva. It's looking pretty sexy now, guys. Now we just need to do the interior, I think. I don't understand now why it's gone to left hand drive. No. It's not a problem, we'll sort it. Steering wheel, standard. Oh, I don't want the steering knob on there. Dashboard set. How can I? Well, it's my truck, I have my weekend back in there, so. What would I have in the middle of the dash? Oh, money. Probably would be my phone, to be honest. Air conditioner, it's an air freshener. We'll have a hula doll, we'll have a daft cup, got to have a daft cup, it's a daft truck. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Daft model truck, makes sense. Cell phones, what have you got on there? A compass, uh, a Daft Rebel wallet, you probably would have a torch in your cap when you're doing your tricks and stuff when it's dark. I'm struggling to find what else to pull in here, to be honest. I'll have keys on there. Uh, and glasses, but sunglasses. Alright, cool. Looking good, guys. Looking alright. Nearly there, guys. Uh, done the sun visor.
Right, cool. Really? No sat nav in here. Really? I've got no radio. Oh my god. This truck is shit. Really? No. Oh. Guys, this is really hard to believe. Look at that. There's no radio in here or nothing. Ah, oh, we've done all this work and we can't even fit a radio in here. What the fuck? Oh, God, he's oh my God. What are we going to do? I've oh. still got to put a sat nav in here now. What, what, what the hell? These poor drivers, they haven't got a bloody radio. <laughs> All that money we just spent, I didn't realise he didn't have a radio in it or a sat nav. That's bad. That is bad. Oh, God. We'll have the white dice this time. Oh, right, guys, that's it. It's done. I think. All right, let's have a look at it in all its glory. One second, guys. There we go guys, it's finished. You know what? I like that. That hasn't turned out too bad. God, look at the illumination on those lights, man. Good job we didn't have them all down the front as well. It just would have been too much. To be honest, I think the roof ones are a bit much. We'll probably get rid of the top ones, I think. Oh, there we go, All right, guys. One last thing we need to do. Start her up. Sound too bad. All right, just need to check out the horn now. Horn is pathetic. Oh, but, uh, might have to change that. Other than that, guys, looking good. I like it. Right then, guys, we'll park it up, and that's that's it, guys. At the end of this video, guys, what? Oh, not quite. We just need to adjust the seats and stuff, I suppose. Yeah, that'll do. 
As we have, we've got a dashboard on this. Oh, yeah, at least we've got a dash. We ain't got anything else in here. Alrighty, over then, guys. That's it. Let's take a real quick whip round the front then. It's alright guys, to be fair. Well, I think this truck is now ready for its debut guys. hotel for tonight. So probably day of you guys in the next live stream. Be nice to get. Hoping it's gonna be tomorrow at some point. There we go guys, uh, all done for the day. Happy days, isn't it? Well, that's it guys, give it a tap, XF105. What do you think guys? Let us know if you like it or not. I think it's a good improvement to rise on what we rise before. Yeah man. Happy days. Bye then guys, see you in the next one. Ta-ta.